Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I recently purchased, well actually these have been sitting on my desk for a few weeks, but we are going to finally get around to swatching out and kind of getting our first impressions of King Art Artist Mixed Media Gel Sticks. That's quite a mouthful. So we're just going to say King Art Gel Sticks. Okay, they come in a total of 72 colors. Um, they have the set of 48, and then they have a set of 24, and these are the pastel colors, or as they call these, the rich, vibrant colors. So I believe there are no duplicates between these two sets. So, this set I know does include some metallics. Let's go ahead and open these up. Let me get my knife out. I have been dying to dig into these, but I wanted to do it all on camera with you guys so you could see my true first impressions of them. Now, like I said, I did purchase these quite a while ago. Um, and now I have been, since I purchased them, I've been seeing quite a number of videos out there on these. So it seems like a lot of people are liking these and getting their hands on them. I did a long time ago get a set of the King Art glitter gel pens and I loved those. So these were getting really good reviews. The one I could not get an accurate answer on is whether they had numbers and names on the barrels of the gel stick themselves. Uh, one of the answers, or a number of them, stated that no, unfortunately, they didn't. And then I was getting some answers that said, yes, they do. Uh, so I don't know if they maybe had an older version out of these and they didn't have uh, color and numbers and names on and now they do if they upgraded them. Fingers crossed. Um, so let's uh, get out the 24 set. So this is the case that they come in. It does have a color chart on the back and on here let me zoom you in. There are color numbers and names. So for instance, we have 001 light tan, 002 ivory, and so on and so forth, up to 024 cool gray. So again, fingers crossed that that is also somewhere on the gel stick itself. All right, they do come in these nice plastic cases. There are 12 in a case. And the case is kinda, don't wanna say glittery, but it's like a glittery, frosty, frosty, not frosty, frosty kind of coating on here. So you can see the colors this way. And yay, there are color numbers and names on them. Yes, indeedy. All right, so let's open these cases and they just pop open like that. So these cases are nice, but I suspect then if you have 12 in a case, that means you're gonna have a total of six plastic cases. I don't know if that's, you know, might be kind of cumbersome once you get, because of course I made a swatch chart up. <laughs> once you get a swatch chart and you're looking down through there and you're like, okay, I want this out of here and that out of there, you know what I mean? I might just find some type of case where I can just put all 72 in. But anyhow, let's of course pick my favorite purple. <laughs> so this is number 012 and let me zoom in then it won't distort as much. Maybe. Come on. Oh yes. Is this going to help? Mm, a little bit. Anyhow this one is 012 purple. 
Okay, there's nice finger grips in here. Makes it actually quite comfortable to hold. Okay, then we have a clear cap. And that is what the tip looks like. So it's flat on the top. And then, yep, yeah, okay. I may regret doing this, but let's see if the gel stick goes all the way down to the bottom. How much product are we actually getting for our money? And we'll see if it falls off. And I can't get it back in. I should have experimented with a different color than my favorite. Okay, there's the very bottom. So you get a lot of gel stick in there. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of product there to be used. Oh, good. It goes back in. <laughs> okay. So those are just the initial looks of what what they look like yeah that's it okay so this is the 12 set so you can see we have some bright colors we have like this beautiful pale purple of course you can't go by the color on the outside right have to go more by that and more importantly what it's going to look like on paper because look at this pink but yet look at how vibrant and bright it is it's like neon pink there so we have some pretty colors in there Ooh, these look pretty too look at that so these are supposed to be the pastel sets or the set to me these really are not pastel I mean, we do have some pretty light colors, but like that is definitely not pastel and these aren't, you know, so they're not just pastel, but look at these pretty colors. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty lilac. We have a few earth tones and a gray in here. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do first, cause I set up, I just quick drew up. <laughs> A color chart let me zoom back up from some of my existing color charts but I knew I wanted it bigger because I wanted I was hoping we'd have a number and a name and then I wanted a big enough square to color some in and then also because they are a watercolor medium um, to be able to take um, a water brush and see how well they um, disperse with water if any residues left behind or you know whatnot but you have to keep in mind this is printer paper I do have some watercolor paper over to the side here too so we are also going to test on just a couple of different uh, watercolor papers that I have over here so again let's do the 24 set first and then we'll get to the 48 set so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to go in my typical rainbow order I am going to jot them down color in solid first then I'm going to get the water brush and we'll instead of you know doing the watercolor part with the water brush after I write each one down and scribble it out that would be just too much back and forth so okay so this one is and it's kind of small on the barrel i mean the barrel is plenty big they had plenty of room to write that out bigger and they could have done it in black i think would have been much easier to see rather than this silver but 003 pale yellow and i can see this is going to have to be bigger pale yellow so let's see how creamy these are and how they're gonna work oh my gosh wow it is like butter <laughs> holy cow yeah very very smooth oh my gosh 
Okay. <laughs> this one is 002 Ivory. So evidently this is lighter maybe. Is that zoomed in enough? Maybe I should get a little closer. Okay, here is Ivory. Oh, it is. It's just like coloring with butter. <laughs> wow. Okay, now are these considered? Yeah, these must be. What is this one? This is light tan, so we'll put that by the Earth Tunes. And then we have peach and sand. Now, I think I'm going to put these together. We're going to do sand next because it looks like a lighter peach. Zero, zero, four. Sand. Oh. I can't get over how smooth these things are. And then we have 005 Peach. Let's get those out of the way. Oh, those are pretty. Okay, so we'll leave that one there. Um, let's see. Let me put these back in the case instead of having them rolling all over the place. Um, then we will go with, I don't know if I have a true orange in here. Not really. This is our orange, so I'm assuming we'll have oranges in the other set. We have 006 Raspberry. Very pretty red. Okay, then we have a dark red, 007 Burgundy. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay, let's go to the pinks. This one is 009 Blush. There are so many things you can do with this type of medium, whether it's Neo Color 2s, whether it's the King Art Gel Sticks, whether it's Fabric Castell Gelatos, um, and there's a ton of budget friendly uh, brands that have now come out with gel sticks also, the water soluble. And so, yeah, everybody's jumping on the bandwagon, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, then we are going to do. Zero. Oh, these are so hard to read. It doesn't help having these bright lights up here. It shines on it more than anything. Zero ten petal. I think if I was in regular lighting, it might not be quite as bad. But ooh, isn't that bright and colorful? Okay, then we have 008 Baby Pink. And these are definitely not the order they will be staying in. <laughs> oh, can't wait to see what these do when I get the water brush out. Okay, then Let's see, no other pinks. We have 011 light purple. And I'll be designing a 
total different sheet for these. I would just wanted to quick draw something up so I could get this video done finally. Like I said, they've been sitting here for weeks. Along with a number of other supplies I have to get swatched. Okay, now there are some of these colors in the other box too. So I'm going to go to this one. This is 023 Smoke. So I am definitely taking them out of the order that the company put them in. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. It's kind of a real pale purplish blue and so this one looks really vibrant so I think I'm gonna take this one next this one is 013 iris oh it's so pretty wow and I Totally off camera. <laughs> Oops. That is pretty. Okay. You can always hear the loud snap, which, you know, even these are, though these are technically a dry medium, they're not <laughs> in the same respect. They can dry out, so you do want to make sure you recap them. 012 purple. So much color lays down so effortlessly. It's amazing. Let me get this over here so I'm not reaching in front of the camera constantly. Okay. Now we have 014 Periwinkle. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a light purple or a light pink. A pink or a light blue or a light purple blue <laughs> I would say that's more of a I don't know it's kind of in between isn't it here's a more of sky blue <laughs> sky blue yep 015 sky blue Periwinkle, I guess I do think of more as a purple. So I think I would put that with the purples. Oh, pretty. Can't wait to see what's all in the 48 set then. <laughs> Here is a little bit of a darker blue. And this one is, well, it's a blue green. I think I'm going to put it up here, though. It's called 020. It's sea green. So we'll see where it's going to end up in the grand scheme of things once I have all 72 swatched out. Okay, it's kind of like, like a blue-gray, isn't it? Let's go to this bright green. Definitely not a pastel, but 019 lime green. Oh, pretty. And we have a number of like aqua blues, aqua greens. Uh, 018 mint. What I might do is take my label maker and make a bigger label on these. Because that is just too darn hard to read. And like I said, it's not like they didn't have the room, like they were trying to fit that on an end or something. They had a lot of room here to play with. Oh well, 018 Mint. Oh gosh, that's pretty. 
Couldn't you see this in like water, you know, amongst regular blues and stuff? Oh, so pretty. Okay, we have 016 Light Aqua. Oh, those look really pretty together. And then one more green, and that is 017 Teal. So again, I'm assuming we're going to have some regular greens in the other set. This is just kind of an add-on set. I think the 48 came out first, and then this one to add to the colors, but I am... Don't hold me to that one. <laughs> this one is 001 Light Tan. And this one is what they did have as the very first color. But I thought, well, if it's tan, let's put it down here. We'll see if it stays there. <laughs> Light Tan. call that light tan. I think the name is just kind of misleading. I may move that up because it's very close to the ivory, isn't it? Very similar, just a shade darker. So yeah, I think we will be moving that. Okay, this one is 021 Cocoa. So you know, on the darker shades, that's much easier to read, but on the light ones, they should put it in black. <laughs> Just being picky, I know. It's a pretty brown. And the last brown is 022 top. Okay, kind of along the same lines, except for it is lighter. So those two will get switched around. And then a gray. And this is 024 Cool Gray. Is it EY or AY? Wow, that's hard to read. AY. You never know <laughs> where the product is coming from. We'll all determine whether it's EY or AY. Okay, so there are all 28 colors or 24 colors in this set. Very pretty, huh? Definitely are missing... <laughs> some real basic colors but we do that going in because yes they will be in the 48 set because yeah we really don't have any oranges or we have one red you know there's actually a number of purples for only 24 in this set i am amazed but yeah definitely lacking on the blues a lot of the the aqua colors but no regular greens and yeah, earth tones and grays and things. So yeah, this will all be getting filled in by the larger 48 set. So let's get these out. Oh, and again, I see we do have the color chart or the color swatches on the back. So that is promising that the names will also be on here. Now the names and numbers like this here first one is tan the number is gs001 and then it's gs036 gs002 so everything starts with a gs whereas that set didn't it just had a number i'm suspecting that the gs just stands for gel stick so i think when i write the color and number down i'm just going to drop the GS. I'm just going to write the number itself down and then it'll fit in my little box better. 
because the GS is kind of redundant anyhow. Oh, I see some pretty colors in here already. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's turn what fell out. Oh, a little piece of plastic. Hope that uh, wasn't from anything important. Let's open all the cases and we're just going to take a quick look-see at... Okay, come open. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I was making it harder on myself. So, in this first case, we have what looks to be another peach. We do have some yellows and oranges, reds. Look at these pinks, magentas. Oh, are they pretty? So definitely we'll fill in the colors that we were missing from the 24 set. Oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? Wow, look at the blues and a couple of additional purples. Oh, the beautiful teal. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. They just look so rich and vibrant. Okay, why am I having a problem with the left side? Oh, lot more greens and earth tones. Then I think we, yep, starting here we get to the metallics. So we have the metallic silver and the gold, and I think the whole bottom tray is metallic also. I believe these are all metallic. And I believe you can buy just the metallics in a separate set. I don't think there are 14 of them, though. I believe it's a set of 12 metallics. Okay, yeah, there are 12 metallics, and then they did include in here the black and the white. You would have thought they would have put the 12 metallics and just put the black and the white in the other case, wouldn't you? But, who am I to say? Okay, so we're going to do the metallics last. I'm going to take these out of here and put the two other metallics in here. And I'm going to put them to the side so I don't reach for them. Now, I always do white first. Um, some people I know like to put it at the very end of their swatches um, with the black. I don't because... I start from lightest to darkest color families. So I go from white to yellows, to oranges, to reds, to pinks, to purples, uh, blues, greens, earth tones, grays, and then black. So that's what I'm gonna do with this also. Now you're not going to, of course, be able to see this white, but white can come in very handy if you say you love this particular shade of blue or purple but you wish it was just a little bit lighter you can mix your own colors and by using the white you can make a color lighter um, because it'll become a tint or a pastel version of a color so your white's really going to come in handy this is white gs 016 so we're just going to put 016 white and I am still going to put it on here. Now I did, now that I do that, I did think, unless, maybe I'm thinking of a total different product, so I'll, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I thought I seen somebody do that and it was a metallic white, so it looked kind of like a silver, but that might be something else I was watching, so. All right, so I'm going to put the white in here, and we're going to go to the yellows. Let me zoom you back in a little, huh? Okay. GS036. Now on here, rather than having the number up above and the name down below, here they have the name here with the number immediately following. But again, 
I don't think they seem quite as small, you know, the name and number as what was on the, the set of 12, or I mean 24, but they're still in silver and still kind of hard to read. Like I said, having these lights up here doesn't help, but um, so I, I think I'm going to still put some labels on here, depending on how often I use these. And so, 036 Lemon. Another yellow we have primrose yellow zero zero two primrose yellow boy that's a new one oh that is pretty wow what a sunny yellow huh okay then I think I'm going to go and put this one in here. This one, again, is called tan. And in the other set, set wasn't it light tan? So this time I think I am going to put it up here. And it is GS. Ah, oh, that's why they have GS on here. Because here they have just 001. Here, and that's light tan. Here they have GS001, and it's tan. So, hmm, okay. I'm just going to have to indicate that when I do make up the good color chart to add GS before numbers. Okay, I'll know what I mean. So here we have tan zero zero one. Yeah, see, it's definitely not tan. It's a peach. And this really gives your paper texture. I think if you're going to leave them dry like this, you're going to almost want to spray it with a fixative especially if you're in a double-sided coloring book um otherwise i'm afraid this may transfer if the once the book is closed okay this is yellow but i was thinking we were going to start going into the oranges i guess not it's a yellow orange so yellow gs oh my goodness 041 Almost forgot what I said there for a minute. Oh yeah, definite yellow. So that's all right. I was going to be switching these around anyhow. Okay, then we have Naples yellow, zero thirteen. That's pretty. It's like a kind of a yellow ochre almost. I'm gonna take some of these out of here. Then we have an orange GS004. Oh, that's pretty. These caps are pretty easy to take on and, and or put on and take back off. So if you do have a hand dexterity problem, sometimes we get some markers where they're real hard to pull in caps off. These are pretty easy to take off and put back on. Just thought I'd mention that. We have Pale Vermilion GS042.
So now I don't use the standard swatch books that you can find on Amazon um, or any place else. I always make up my own color charts. So this way I put them in um, sheet protectors and I can just pull the sheet that I need out of my three ring binder and off I go. <laughs> GS005 red. Ooh, so there's a really nice gradation of colors there. Our orange to our red, orange to our red. And then we have a dark red. And we did have one dark red in the other set. So let's see, this one is Scarlet 024. And then we will look at both the swatch charts together and see what the whole color spectrum is that's covered. Okay, so that's a real pinky kind of red. Pinkish, pinky. <laughs> All right, our lightest pink that we have is pink. Imagine that, 003. Because of their round shape, they do roll quite easily. So that is one downfall. It's about the only one I found so far, other than not being able to read this too well. But my desk is uneven anyhow, as you can see. <laughs> it's because the floors in here are uneven. <laughs> okay, then we have a dark pink 026. Ooh. Okay, so that is the first tray. Then rose zero twenty one. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's see, let's go to this tray that has all the purples and blues. But here's a pastel purple, we'll do that first. So here we have 023 Violet. Should be light violet, right? Pretty. Get all these blues out of here. Oh, they're just so pretty to look at. <laughs> now, the cases on here. You would think this would be a lighter. I would normally go for this one before this one, but I don't know. Well, maybe I will. It's just, you know, this I'm assuming has red to the purple, so it's a reddish purple. So I guess I will, but it just, I don't know. Maybe it's just my eyes. It's called maroon. Don't think it's maroon. 025. Maroon I think of as a deep red. That's just me. Yeah, I don't think of that being a maroon. But it is gorgeous. Okay, let's go up here. Yeah, that feels so funny. <laughs> okay, purple zero eleven. Beauty bus. OK, 
Okay, we're going to go on to the blues. Here we have Pale Blue 029. Beautiful baby blue. Can't say sky blue because we already had that. Um, let's go for this one. Beautiful aqua. Yep, aqua blue, zero, zero, nine. And like I said, we're going to use a water brush on all of these. And then we're going to experiment with just a, a few things. Um, let's go with this one. This one is blue, zero, 28. It's like kind of a cornflower blue. And let's go with this one, cobalt blue, zero, 044. So some of these names will be very familiar to many of you because they take after a lot of colored pencil names. Some of these are unique. Oh, that's pretty. Kind of similar to the aqua blue, but just a, a shade darker. This looks like it has gray to it, so it's pale turquoise. Hmm, 034. Kind of looks like gray turquoise to me, but they didn't ask me for my opinion. It's very pretty, though. A couple more blues, and we get into the green. We have Ultramarine 020. Ooh. Pretty. Colors are just beautiful, aren't they? Deep Navy 010. It's like when you open a new set of markers or a new set of pencils, it's like, oh, the color. Deep navy. Uh, just wondering if these had a scent at all. No, they don't. They don't smell at all. So if any of you are very sensitive to smells of like markers and things like that. These have no order. 030 Aqua Green. I didn't think they'd have an order, but you never know. Beautiful. I don't know if I'd put that with the greens or the blues. I hate those colors because, yeah, I never know where to put them. <laughs> the blue-greens are all hard. <laughs> Just like this one, turquoise, 015. From the barrel, it looks more green, but, <laughs> yeah, this is, I would say, more green. Sometimes you get them where they just... They're kind of really in between. You can't determine whether you the undertone truly is more blue or green to determine where the heck to put it. Okay, let's get the last case over here. And then we're going to do just a little bit of playing around. Okay, so we have... Olive green. Okay. Olive green usually has some brown to it, but 
not this one. Zero thirty-five. Very pretty, though. They're all pretty. This one is Grass Green 032. Ooh, it's a nice bright lime green. Then we have a light green zero zero seven. Beautiful. We have plain green zero zero eight. Perfect. I needed just a plain green. Let me get all these earth tones out. Then the last case will be all of the metallics. Oh, what is this one? Dark green, 031. There's your olive green. <laughs> now, if you wanted to go darker than that, you could add some gray or even some black and mix it. And I'm going to be doing that in a separate video on how you can make your own colors and all different kinds of things that you can do with gelatos or gel sticks and things like that. So let's go on to the next page. We have brown, zero, zero, six. Oh, that's a pretty brown, a red brown. And we have a light brown, zero, thirty-nine. Okay, I took the other one first because it looked lighter, but <laughs> 039, light brown, we'll see which one's lighter. I guess they were right. <laughs> it is lighter. Okay, we have a lot of browns here. Dark brown, 017. Two more browns. Oh no, that's a gray. Oh yeah, these are grays. Okay. I thought they were going to be dark browns. Um, makes sense. We'd have a couple more grays. 014 gray. How oh, unique. And last but not least, we have iron. Oh no, we have the black yet. Iron 027. It's a very dark, warm gray. Did we have warm grays in the other one? Oh no, we had a cool gray. Okay. So now we do have two warmer grays, and then we do have the black. Let's see how black of a black it is. Zero, 012. Sometimes the black 
colors that we get in marker or pencil sets are more just a very, very dark gray. Oh no, this is as black as coal. Yes, very nice black. All right, the last box are the metallics. So let's look at the shimmers. So I'm gonna do the silver first. So silver 038, I'm gonna put M out here so I know where they start. 038 silver and when I type up the actual color chart I'm probably going to put an M behind it then and this may be the one that I was thinking of that had kind of looked like a really pretty silver on the paper and not the white okay so then we have the gold and 37 037 silver and gold. Boy, it's not Christmas time, Lisa. Okay, it's not really gold, is it? That is a shimmery yellow. I mean it, it, it it's I, I guess it's a very bright gold, maybe. It's pretty, regardless. All right, then we have a metallic red orange. See, now this time it says metallic. Hmm, huh, but those are metallic. Do all of these say metallic? Maybe uh, the silver and gold is a given because it is a metal. Okay, 046. Metallic red orange Can you see this boy I'm jumping down sloppy I'm in a hurry red orange that's a pink it's gorgeous okay then we have metallic copper 047 Copper is so pretty. Copper and rose gold. And that's, did I read that right? Or maybe it said r rose gold. No, red orange. Okay. But that's what that kind of, a little bit too pink. But metallic copper, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. So you can do a lot of these. Or a lot of things with these for like jewelry and stuff. Mm. Okay, we have metallic pink 049. And metallic dark pink 048 now why is the number one less when you think dark pink would go after pink so yeah it's just a shade darker and we have a couple of purples so we have like Two pinks, two purples, two blues, two greens. Hmm. All right, we have metallic light purple, 050. Ooh, pretty. And metallic purple, zero fifty one. It's now a gorgeous 
Then we have a couple of blues. We have metallic blue 052. And I didn't count these out right. <laughs> I have a couple more. Zero fifty-two. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous! Wow. And then metallic dark blue zero fifty-three. Mm. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a couple of boxes down here. I can't draw a straight line to save my life, so. If I really wanted this to look nice, I would have gotten a ruler out, but it's only a swatch chart. <laughs> and nothing I'm keeping, anyhow. So we have metallic green, 053. No, 054. Can you tell it's getting late at night? <laughs> oh, is that pretty? Wow, you can really see the shine in that. It's like a sea green. I wouldn't say it's a green, but it's gorgeous. Metallic dark green, 045. So it doesn't even go with that number. And I'm kind of dyslexic, so boy, that could throw me for a loop. <laughs> Metallic dark green. It's like that doesn't even go. <laughs> Oh, so pretty. So just a shade darker. Boy, those two really seem to shimmer more than the rest. I mean, they all are shimmery. But, wow. Must just be the angle that the light's hitting them at. Okay, we have them all swatched out. So I am going to put those up there. Because we're going to do just... Just a couple of things. Not not anything, you know, too involved. Um, but first of all, I want to get the water brush. And we are going to see how these colors react with water. Do some blend out better than others? So this is an Arteza water brush. They come in a set of... Mm, at six you get a number of the rounds and then you do get some of the flats in varying sizes and I like these I think I need a little more water now it's hard to tell when I you know do these first on these light colors there now I have water Yeah, I normally like these, but hmm, it's not do well. It is. I was gonna say it's not doing well, but again, this is printer paper. It's not even as good as coloring book paper, <laughs> and they are melting. I think a better test. Let's get. Some actual watercolor paper or stuff that I like to use. The Strathmore Bristol vellum is a real good paper. I've used it to test a number of things, so I think I'll take out. Yeah, these were watercolor brush pins. So I'll use the back side of that. And then my favorite, actually. <laughs> 
and it can, oh my gosh, I'm still zoomed in. Sorry, guys. Um, is this stuff. And this is paint. <laughs> it's all it's called. Um, it's by Design Ideation or Ideation Creative Arts. And it is just a medium weight paper. The reason why I like it is it does blend out nice, but it's light enough so that it goes through your printer really nicely. So I'm not by any means saying it is the best watercolor paper out there um, because I'm sure it's not. Um, long time ago, I did a long video on testing a whole bunch of different watercolor papers. I went through and I purchased a whole bunch of different brands. And then I tested six different watercolor brush pens against each other on all the different papers. So this is how the um, design ideation paper did with these watercolor brush pens. So like here's the Zig Clean Color Real Brush and I used the red, blue, and green for all of them. And here are the Artezas, Colorits, Chromatex, Doodle Hog, and Genuine Crafts. Um, so I thought they did really well on this paper. And here is the Strathmore Bristol Vellum and they did fantastic on this paper. Um, the Canson watercolor paper, the Faber Castell watercolor paper. I do have that up here. Nope, I don't. I lied. <laughs> I was going to bring it over and then I didn't. The B cold press. I was not impressed with that at all. Especially for being cold press paper. Reeves, again, was not impressed. Prima marketing. Not really, and that's watercolor paper. And it's just with these um, brush pens, these, you know, the, the colored brush pens for other things, it, they may be fine. Yeah, Crayola, I, I didn't have high hopes for that at all. This Strathmore Cold Press watercolor paper didn't work real well on this test either. Again, not saying it wouldn't in other um, areas of watercolor because Strathmore is a really good brand so um, you know along with the, the Canson and I thought the Reeves would have done better too but so we're going to use these two watercolor papers again a couple of my favorites but this stuff is very heavy and will not go through printers so <laughs> If it doesn't have to go through a printer, your Strathmore is really good um, watercolor paper. It, it's great. Your Bristol vellum. It's good for a lot of things, actually. A lot of mixed media things. All right, so I think what we're going to do, should we get back out some of those metallics? And do a little bit of, of playing. So let's... Get out. This is the metallic light purple. So let's just scribble some down. And let's take our water brush. This is going to be a better test. Oh, they do. They melt like butter. They do leave a little bit behind. Okay. And let's try it, same color on, this is that paint paper that I showed you. And right away, I can feel a difference when I'm laying them down. Whether it be better or not, I don't know. Don't have enough water. Okay, I'm scrubbing too much, can you see that? For some reason, I am having a problem with this water brush. And usually, I don't. And I picked one that had a broader tip just because of this. Maybe it's the metallics that I'm having a problem with. I don't know. 
Let's just put a little bit down on both these papers. And then we're gonna go to some of the other standard colors. Because it just don't seem to be working good on these. They're leaving a lot of color behind. So let's go because, and this is one thing that I'm going to show um, in this follow-up video that you don't have to color straight on the paper. I'm gonna use this. You can use any non-porous surface and just scrub it on here pick it up with your water brush and then go on your paper and you get a much better watercolor effect <laughs> pick that up you know rather than going straight with you know the the marker on there then you can let it dry not marker gel stick you can let it dry and if you want to get more color down you can put some down, but you have to leave it dry first. So let's try that blue on here. Make sure I got all the purple off. And let's pick that up. So they perform much better like that, which most things do. It's kind of hard to get things moving um, when you do lay them directly on the paper but like I said let's let's uh, save that for after we try some of these standard colors that are not metallic and I'll wipe that lid off hopefully I'll remember let's try an orange Isn't that pretty? Oh, such a pretty color. No, I'm still having a problem. So it ain't just that it was the metallics. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, and it's on both. Hmm. Oh, let me uh, try out just the back side of one of these others. There's the Canson. Let's try the back side of the Canson. You can see it's much more textured. This is like a cold press where your smoother ones are more hot pressed. Yeah, and see on here, it works pretty darn good. So it seems like your cold press is, is going to work better with these. Because, yeah, this is your more textured cold press. I think this one is cold press. Let me... <laughs> so I'm going to put it with... The other sheets here and I, I didn't want it to so yeah I'm not sure this is the Faber Castell watercolor paper and it's better better than the Strathmore is doing hmm. interesting Okay, so that's just showing it on a few different watercolor papers. Um, again, typically I really like this design ideation. Like I said, you can see they did fantastic with these. Um, and I have tried, did I do watercolor pencils? I am not sure what happened to my clip okay we'll find it later okay 
Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Um, and then you can also go, just like we can do with our Neo Color 2s, you can go direct from the tip. Um, but I'm thinking with these, you're probably going to have to try to pick up a lot of color. Yeah. Don't think that's going to work real well. It will work better if you go on a non-porous surface. And then pick that up. Again, this is going to be in a... No, this is a very light color, so that was a bad choice. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, though, is you can smush these and have some fun with them. You can smush them with all different kinds of things. Again, something I'm going to be going into in a different video but let's do just a varying degree of colors here and we're going to go all the way down to our lightest yellow isn't that pretty <laughs> now we can smudge our way up <laughs> smudge, smudge, smudge. I colored this too heavy, but they're gorgeous. So you can smudge them together. Um, and yeah, you can do all kinds of things with your finger, with, um, oh, I believe you can use Q-tips. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of playing around because... Like I said at the beginning, this is a type of medium that you can do so much with both dry and wet. Um, and so that's why I want to do a whole separate video on all the different things you can do. Because as you can see, if I just take this yellow, let's use the bright yellow. Um, just this one color alone and you smoosh it around with your finger I mean the beautiful things you can do for backgrounds I mean just gorgeous and if you just a little bit you know and don't go down heavy at all yeah not as easy you have to have more color to smoosh it. <laughs> yeah. Let's try this pretty color and let's go in a circle this time instead of just our rectangle all the time. Yeah, so pretty. So yeah, there's just so many things you can do with these. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> okay, now I'm just having fun. But uh, I'll save that for my own time. Um, but I will be getting back to you with another video on all the things you can do with these gel sticks. Um, and you can apply these techniques to, like I said, the gelatos. Um, before I do that video, though, I do want to do a comparison between a number of these types of products. I have a couple of things on their way to me, um, and I want to do some playing with them, and then I can do a comparison video between these various products. So, a couple of videos in the works that uh, you can look forward to. But... There you have it. Here are the metallics, and I better close these before I drop them all over the floor. I could see myself doing that. And then we have the. It's all right. I'm gonna wipe this off. Told you I'd forget. We have the sets of twelve. No, I keep saying twelve. Twenty-four and 48 
So here are the 48, and then we have the 24. So we have all kinds of colors. Just come on. Boy, I am, it's, it's, yeah, it's getting really late at night. Okay, boy, I better quit before I just have these all over the place. All right, there you have it. So we have our, would have been easier to do it this way, 24 set and our 48 set. That was a lot of fun. I'm sorry this video got a little bit long. I mean, it's over an hour. And uh, yeah, just a lot of fun, a lot of different colors. As you can see, there are 72 colors. Um, I found these on a couple different sites and uh, I was amazed at the differences in price. Um, they are on Amazon, so I'm gonna leave the Amazon links. I am an Amazon affiliate, so yeah. Uh, the whole spiel you've heard a number of times. I get a, a few pennies if you purchase through those Amazon links. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's give you the prices. Uh, the 24 set is $24.56. The 48 set is $38.53. Let me just bring these, these uh, figures over here so you can see. Um, so the total for this, for the 72 is 63.09. The best price that I found, however, was at Dick Blick and the 24 set was only 18.61. The 48 set was 32.01 for a total of only $50.62. Now you do have to pay a little bit of shipping Whereas if you you have Amazon Prime, there's free two-day shipping. Um, I think the shipping is $5.99 if I'm not mistaken. So you add six bucks to that, you're still paying like $56.50. So you're still saving a few bucks over the Amazon price. King Art is what flew me. <laughs> the through before a loop. The 24 set is $29.99. I know many a times when you go to these companies' official websites, they are a little bit pricier. Like if you go to Karen Dosh's site or you go to Faber-Castell, their prices are a little bit more. Um, but this bottom one. Okay, so 24 set is $29.99. 48 set is $48.99. So you're paying about a dollar a piece right so for the 72 set you are paying 78.98 but if you buy they do have the entire 72 set all in one and while that would be nice the cost is 89 dollars and 99 cents so you're paying 90 dollars for all 72 of those the purpose, I don't know. You would have a box that says 72 on them, <laughs> on it. I don't know if that's the only, I mean, $90 versus all 72 at Dick Blick for 50. I mean, yeah, okay. Um, but, so I'm not even going to leave the link. I can't see where any of you would order direct from the King Art site. I will leave the two Amazon links, and I will leave the link to Dick Blick um, with the King Art uh, ready in the link. Okay, so if you want to save a few bucks, go with Dick Blick. Like I said, if you have Amazon Prime, you get free shipping. With Dick Blick, you don't, unless you you have a large order already. Um, you may get this with free shipping. I can't remember if it's over $75. Or if it's a hundred, I can't remember. But like I said, the shipping's only, I believe, five ninety nine anyhow. So you're going to save a little bit um, over the price on Amazon. But I will leave links to all of that down below 
in the description. Thank you so much for your patience, but I hope overall this was an enjoyable, informative video that you enjoyed. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when I put out new content like new supplies and uh, coloring books, things like that, even diamond paintings. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.